Just before the 17-year-old was shot dead, Rachel Jantel was talking to him on the phone. She is absolutely crucial to the prosecution's murder case against George Zimmerman because she says what she heard showed Neighborhood Watch volunteer George Zimmerman was the aggressor. But the defense came on strong, grilling her, trying to shatter her story. So the last thing you heard was some kind of noise, like something hitting somebody. A Trayvon guy hit. hit. Trayvon guy hit. You don't know that, do you? No, sir. You don't know that Trayvon got hit. He could. He had You don't to. know that Trayvon he didn't, could. at that moment, take his fist and drive it into George Zimmerman's face. Do you? No, sir. Incredible panel is ready to debate this particular witness. Did she work for the prosecution or did she backfire? Starting with Natalie Jackson, an attorney for Trayvon Martin's family. Thanks, Jane. I will tell you today, I think that Rachel Gentile, she handled herself appropriately and she made the crucial statement that it was George Zimmerman who confronted Trayvon. What she did today was force George Zimmerman to take the stand. Uh, Frank Taffy, a former neighbor of George Zimmerman and a friend and supporter. Well, Jen Teal was very good for the defense. She created so much doubt in that jury's mind. She was precious. Those are the words I can use. She was just precious for the defense. Uh, are you making some kind of joke there? Because if you are, it's not funny to me. Are you making a reference to the movie? No. Okay. No, not at all. I thought her all testimony right. was precious. It was priceless. It was priceless and sure, precious. Sure, Frank. Uh, I will yes, tell you one absolutely. thing. Rachel Gentile speaks three languages. How many do you speak? I speak three. I speak three also. Oh. Italian, I'm Spanish, sure I could guess what and English. Happened. Yeah, all right. okay. Well, we're all multilingual, uh, and I think that uh, uh, if you do speak three languages, that's a good thing.